Now we hear from another Democratic presidential candidate. Bill de Blasio is mayor of New York City. He runs the largest police force in America. Mayor de Blasio, thank you for being here. Thank you very much, Judy. You do run a large city that has its own share in history of gun violence. Yep. How do you look on what has happened over this past weekend? I think it's a tragedy that does not have to be in America. I think this happened for a reason. Uh, it's the proliferation of weapons and the ease with which people can get them. And now it is this additional horrible reality of white supremacy growing in this country, this movement of white supremacy growing, aided and abetted by messages from the White House. Uh, we have to understand this, this wasn't the case 20 years ago. Uh, we've seen these mass shootings become more and more common and on top of it now more often coming with a political agenda. We saw that with the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh. We saw that in Poe, California, now El Paso. It, we have to understand something's changed, and I think we have to confront it two ways. One, Congress needs to come back and pass some common sense gun laws, background checks, the basics, you know, a waiting period before you get a gun, get rid of assault weapons. But second, uh, we need leadership that's actually going to unify us and not tear us apart. You say background checks need to be tightened. Yep. Your city has some of the, and state of New yep. York, has some of the strictest gun laws in America. And yet, you still have your share of violence. Critics say you go to the places with strict gun laws, they still have violence. Don't they have a point? Uh, I'm going to contest that, Judy, with this point. We are now New York City's safest big city in America. We had under 300 homicides uh, for a city of 8.6 million people and the most diverse place on earth, people in one of the smallest, you know, cr crammed together in one of the smallest geographies you could imagine for 8.6 million people. And yet we've created some more mutual respect. We've created a stronger social fabric and our police are working more closely with communities. The result, gun violence continues to go down. Crime continues to go down. So I actually would argue we've got some proof that those strong gun safety laws correlate to reduced violence. You had uh, in New York City in the Brooklyn neighborhood of, of uh, Brownsville yeah. the weekend before this, a yeah. shooting and one person dead, 11 wounded. You waited several days before you call that a mass shooting. Yes. Why? Judy, uh, I have since said I understand why people in the community wanted to make sure that somehow there was not a different value given to one of these tragedies in one kind of community versus another kind what of community. What do you mean by that? Meaning, I think the fear in the Brownsville community, first of all, I went out there the next morning and folks were first and foremost concerned that the whole community not be painted negatively uh, because of the acts of a very few. We don't know all the facts yet, but they appear to be members of a local gang. Um, I didn't want to in any way add to the negative impression that people were worried about. On the other hand, some voices came forward and said, we don't want to be undervalued. We don't want that, uh, a shooting that affects black lives to be seen as less important than some of the other shootings, for example, on some of the college campuses. And I heard that point and I recognized and I said, that's fair. I will refer to it as a mass shooting, even if the, even if the motive may have been different, even if the specifics may have been different. I understood why people thought that was important. Another another issue in all of this, of course, New York City has been the site of the worst international terrorist yes. event ever, 9-11. Yep. Uh, do you think there's been too much emphasis placed on international terrorism and not enough on domestic? I think it's time to reassess because um, for years there was a valid concern about international terrorism, obviously after 9-11, but even in, when I first came into office, we were still seeing a lot more activity by terrorists directed at major locations in the West. Thank God that has been reduced in recent years for a variety of reasons. But what is coming up is this domestic terrorism. It's unmistakable. This is the threat we need to focus on more and more. Mayor Bill de Blasio of New York City, thank you. Thank you, Judy.